Hey Capricorn, this is your daily read for July 19th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. First of all, I want to thank you for your patience. I know it's been a minute because I was trying to upload videos this morning. And in the process of uploading videos, I deleted everybody's video except for Virgo. Because Virgo was already uploading. So here is take two on your daily reading. All right, so we do have the Ten of Wands, we have the King of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Star card, we have the Three of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Bottom deck energy is the Eight of Swords. There is some kind of resistance going on in this situation. I don't know if it's from you. Let's dig in. Okay, so with the Ten of Wands, there is a sense of you working by yourself at something. You are... You're making moves, but you're putting in all the work. I feel like that you could be possibly putting all the work in yourself, but you are getting to um, that part of completion. You know, like you're getting to the top of the mountain. You're, you're at the point where you're about to be able to enjoy your view. We have the King of Cups here. I feel like that you could be working on yourself in a way where... Um, there's a King of Cups. Uh, they're either coming in with the moon being right here. You kind of don't know where it's going to lead or where it's going to go. But the King of Cups is somebody who's very loving. They are very giving. They are very supportive. And you want to start a new beginning with this person. Capricorn. So you want to start something that's more stable. You want to start something... That is, um, you could possibly be having a new business partner. You know, this could be a business partner. This could also be in um, a past relationship that you're trying to mend and make more stable. We do have the star card, which you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You don't have to be. But there's healing here for this connection. It's almost like you're starting over again where you're making things more stable. So whether this is a new person or not, it is still a sense of starting over and making things more solid and making things more secure. So with the star card here, with the three of swords, you are working on your past pain. You are definitely working on your past pain. You are becoming more at one with yourself. You're becoming more in touch to where you are able to heal. I do feel like that you're trying to heal yourself in order to have something better. It's like... You're looking at something and you're like, that is so fantastic. I do want that, but not in the state that I'm in right now. I need to make myself better in order to have that. And I feel like that that's where, where you are. It's like, I want this new stable beginning. But in order for me to have a stable beginning, I have to be stable. And I feel like that's what you're trying to do. We do have the Ace of Wands. There is movement here. Your, your passion, you're wanting to heal. You're wanting to heal. You want stability. You want to feel safe. And you have the drive that you're going to have this new beginning. So with the Prince of, uh, with the uh, Knight of Wands popping in, this could be your energy of learning something new in order to get better. This could also be an energy coming in that is a little all over the place, maybe a little sporadic, could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be, but, you know, if this is another person, they could be helping you through it where, you know, maybe they make you laugh when it's time for you to laugh or whatever, but I kind of feel like this is your own energy though. I feel like that you are in a space now where you are trying to learn something new when it comes to healing yourself and when it comes to healing a certain um, a certain relationship. So the King of Cups could be a water sign. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Um, doesn't have to be. But there's something about this relationship that you need to heal. So keep in mind, it doesn't have to be a love reading. This person could be a family member. This person could be a friend. It could be a love interest. But there is something about this connection that needs to heal. There is something about this person that needs to heal. And you're determined to do it. You're in the very beginning stages of it. But you're determined to do it. So we have the Eight of Swords here. There could be interference from time to time. Especially if you're going through something extremely painful. Sometimes we don't want to see what we need to see. 
Sometimes it's just too painful to see what we need to heal from. And that's the whole process when it comes to healing. There's nothing pretty about it. There's absolutely nothing pretty about it. So there could be times that you kind of stop yourself and you're like, oh, yeah, that hurts a little bit too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and blindfold myself. This is something to be aware of, though, Capricorn. This is definitely something to be aware of. Um, so that way you don't stop your own progress. It's okay to be scared. Just don't live in that feeling for too long. Let's find out what energies is around my Capricorn babies. What energies are around Capricorn? What energies are around Capricorn right now? We do have Scorpio. And that would be going with the water sign. We have Aquarius, which went with the star card. We also have Cancer, which would be going with the water sign. We have Fire, which would be going with the uh, Knight of Wands, which is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Bottom deck energy is Libra. So you could have all these people in your life as supportive systems, or they could be the people that you're trying to get over, you know, that you're trying to heal from. So that's what I have for you today, Capricorns. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.